Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? How are you tonight? I'm fine. You're fine? Everyone is fine? It's raining in some places? Está lloviendo en algunos lugares, ¿verdad? Sí, acá en San Zacate lleve fuerte. Wow, yes. In many oh, places. Empieza, de hecho. Yes. So, yes. It's difficult to the connection, right? It's it's a problem sometimes. <laughs> yes. All right, let's start. Remember that yesterday we were practicing about the prepositions of place, all of that. You did exercise. We'll continue with the last part. We are going to investigate where are the objects of other persons. So let's have here. Okay, it says other people's objects. Remember yesterday we said, uh, where are your keys? Where is your notebook? Where is your calculator? And you say, um, it's on the table. It's on the bed. And where is the dog? It's in the bed. It's on the sofa. So we have different, right? Different positions that we can use. Now, let's check here. Where are Jenny's things? So, or where are the things of Jenny? Let's suppose that she is Jenny. So let's investigate. Look at her things. These are Jenny's things. So tell me. Where are Jenny's Next. things? Uh huh. Next hat. I'm sorry. Next hat. Next to the cat. No, the things, las cosas, las cosas de Jenny. ¿Dónde están? Las que tiene acá sobre el sofá. In front. In front. In front. Of, they are in front of Jenny. Uh, what is another position? ¿Cuál sería otra posibilidad? What's another possibility? Between. Between. Here. Between what? Between of the thing and the cup. All right. What about if we say it's a sobre el sofá? How do you say that in English? Uh, 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 oh. Ah, that's good. Uh, and as this one, things is singular or plural? Uh, plural. It's plural. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So we use it or their? Their. Their. Excellent. So we use their. On the sofa. They're on the sofa. What about Jenny's cat? Where is Jenny's cat? Um, uh -huh. Next to. Okay. Next to. It can be behind. Behind. Okay. Near. Okay. Near, it can be near. Si queremos decir que está cerca, yes. Si queremos decir que está detrás de ella. Near to the cat. Pero el, el, el gato, ¿dónde está ubicado él? Where is the cat? Uh, near to the Jenny. Oh. It can be near Jenny. It can be behind. Oh, behind. Uh -huh. Remember what is behind? What is behind? Atrás. 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 It's behind Jenny, right? Yes, you can say. It's behind Jenny. Está detrás de Jenny. What about the next part? Now, let's see. Where are Carla's things? Carla's things, let's suppose that they, they are here, right? Where are they? Okay, tell me a possibility. Where are Carla's things? Um, Is singular or plural? Plural. It's plural, correct. Okay, so you use it or there? There. 
There, perfect, okay. What's the compliment? There. On the table. On the table, very good job, that's nice. There, on the table. Great, okay, now the next one. Where are Carla's keys? Where are Carla's keys? On the table. They are on the table, but there is another possibility. Para utilizar otra, otra preposición. Están enfrente de la manzana. How do you say that? In front. Ah, that's good. It's or there? It's on the no. It's on their cell phone. But the keys? Yes. In front Están of the apple. De la manzana? In front of ah, the... Ah, yes. Ah. It's or there? Ah, there. There, perfect, because they are keys, correct. It's plural. Entendí encendí, ¿verdad? There, in front of, in front of what? Apple. Oh, the apple, excellent. In front of the apple, correct. All right. So we have these answers here with these examples. Now, let's see another practice. Let's continue with the next part. Let's erase this. Let's continue here. Okay. Now we have other persons here. We have William, he is William, yes, nice to meet you, William. And we have here the case of Sally, nice to meet you, Sally. We have two persons, and well, we have the cat. Too. Now let's investigate. Where are Sally's things? Well, we have here a specific question. Where is Sally's ball? Look, this is the ball, right? We have a, a football. Now, what is the possible answer? Where? In front. Okay. You use it or there? There. Are you sure? Segura? It's there. It's because it's only one ball. It's only one ball. So it's singular. All right. So you use it. It's in front. In front of what? In the in front of the sofa. So mm, in front uh, of the sofa, yes, that's correct. In front of the sofa. Yes, uno puede ubicarlo de diferentes maneras, right? So it's in front of the sofa. Also, it can be in, on the floor. In front of William. Between William and Sally. That's another possibility, right? No, it's, no, it's una única respuesta. It, it has different locations, different places. What about where is Sally's car? Sally's car. Kenya Vanessa, help us, please. Hi. Where is the? Uh, where is Sally's car? Sally's car. The car is here. It. Uh huh. It. Yes. So it. It's on the. Uh, it's on the table. The table. On the, under. Under. Perfect. That's correct. It's under the table. 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 So here, thank you. We have it's under, it's under right? Under the table. That's great. Now let's see about William's cat. This is William's cat. What would be the answer? Rafael, what's the answer? 
Where is William's cat? Um, in, in the RD cat. Uh, where is the cat? Vamos a ubicar el gato. Where is the uh -huh. cat? Está sobre okay. el sofá, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. On the cat? On, on the sofa? On the sofa, that's good. So we use it's or there? It. It's because it's only one cat. Correct. So yes. it's on the sofa porque está sobre está sobre on the sofa that's correct okay on on the sofa okay you have this now I have another exercise this is the next exercise it's where are Joe's things? Let's identify where are Joe's things. So we got here different things that Joe has, and are all of these things. Briefcase. We have here a briefcase. Briefcase is this. Se puede ver bien, verdad? Donde va el puntero rojo? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, so this is a briefcase. Briefcase. Now, camera. We have the camera here. Can you see the camera? Can you see the camera? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Cell phone. We have the cell phone in this location, in this area. We have the glasses. The glasses are here. And this is a stereo. Un stereo. Stereo. Then we have newspaper. The newspaper is this. Then a notebook. The notebook is here. We continue with umbrella. The umbrella is here. And the last one is the wallet. And the wallet is here. Now we have other things here, right? For example, this one. What is this? What is so this? So All right. It's, it's similar, but it's a difference. It's like this. It's, it's arm um, under of arm this chair. One. Oh, this arm one is an chair. arm chair. Chair. Um, chair. Um, the um, sofa is different, right? Because on the sofa, you can sleep. But on the armchair, no, because you can sit, right? So they are different. Sentado. So it's a sillón. It's a sillón. One of you. Normalmente solo se sienta. O si se duerme, pero sentado. But in the sofa, then you can lay down, se puede acostar, and then you can sleep, so they are different. So that so is un completo y sillón es individual, ¿verdad, Miss? Exactly. Uh -huh. So este es un sillón. So you can sit there, you sleep, but you cannot lay down, so se puede acostar. And the sofa is bigger, right? It's probably two or three persons for a sofa. And here, only one person can sit. Okay. That's why. Okay. So let's check another one. We have another one more vocabulary. This one is a drawer. You say drawer, you can say cabinet or table also, you can say. So that's gavetero, right? You can say it, but it's a drawer. Let's put it here. A drawer. This is a drawer. This one is a stereo. Stereo. Okay. And there we go. 
Now let's work on the practice. Let's say here, where is that our Joe's things? For example, where is his briefcase? This part, his, is a possessive adjective. Este de acá es un adjetivo posesivo, que se refiere a suyo, suyo de él, right? So remember this one? It's referring to his possession. It says, it's on the table. And yes, it's true. The briefcase is on the table. Now, let's check the next one. Camera. Where is his camera? ¿Dónde está su cámara? Where is his camera? Sandra? Sandra, where is uh -huh. it? Is uh -huh. in front of the television. All right, that's very good. It's in front of the television. Uh, also, it can be, ¿cómo haría para decir está en, entre la tele y la mesa? How would you say it? It is uh -huh. between. Between. That's good, yes. Between. Television. Television. The, the and... television. The television and the table. And the table. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Now let's continue. Gabriela, Gabriela Abigail. Tell me now uh, where is his cell phone? Where is his cell phone? Uh, it is. Mm -hmm. On the table. Under? The table, that's the great table. job, nice. Okay, let's see, Kenya, Kenya, Vanessa, are you there? Kenya, creo que no. Maybe? Now yes. tell me, where are the glasses or where are his glasses? He's on the stereo. All right, just remember that it's singular or plural. Classes. Plural. Excellent. That's good. So what is the correct form? It's or there? There. Perfect. That's good. There. And the complement? The position? On on the on the stereo? On the stereo. Very good job. Nice. Kenya. Kenya Vanessa. Tell me where is his newspaper? Where is his newspaper? Is it on the table? On the table, that's good. Another position it could be it's under the briefcase. You see, under, mm -hmm. que está debajo, ¿verdad? De la tachera. Mm -hmm. The two forces, correct? Mm -hmm. No hay mm -hmm. una única respuesta, porque uno puede ubicarlo de diferentes formas. So it's mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see the next case. We have notebook. Where is his notebook? Nelly, where is his notebook? Yo. Yes. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, notebook. Yes. Is, is no it is on the table uh, on the draw right drawer. 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 That's drawer. Correct. Very good job. Nice. Okay, let's continue. Oh, in front on the stereo. Uh -huh. It can be in front of the table. Uh, it can be better like uh, it's near the table, in front of the stereo. It's another case, right? Okay. Different Between. possibilities. Yeah, that's good. We can use this Miss, form. Yes. En este caso se contesta dependiendo de la percepción de cada quien. Ajá. No hay una, no hay una así exacta. Como exacta, que sea única. Porque uno puede ubicar las cosas de cualquier forma. Siempre y cuando esté correcta la, la ubicación que se ve. Thank you. Correct. Thank you. Let's continue then. Let's see, Ada, Ada said. Now let's see the umbrella. Where is his umbrella? 
Umbrella is um ¿cómo se llama eso? Archer. 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 <laughs> Archer. Uh -huh. Um is it's or there? They no umbrella is only one. Este an it's... indica una, ¿verdad? An, uh -huh. an armchair, the an umbrella. So where is the umbrella? Under it's under the armchair. Under the armchair. Very good. All right. We have the last one that is the wallet. So let's see about the wallet. Maria Emilia. Where is his wallet? Is it is um under under armchair? Under the chair? armchair? The armchair? Armchair. That's good, right? Yes, under the armchair. That's good. All right. Good exercise. Very good. Okay. Now we know how to put the things in a specific places, right? Now, let's check here. The next one is an exercise. Then let's continue with our next part that is with section three. And in the section three, we are going to learn about the nationalities. We know that people are from different countries, different nationalities. So let's check here. Section three, where are you from? As I mentioned, different countries. For example, I am from the United Kingdom. I am from Japan. I am from Canada. I am from Brazil. I am from the United Kingdom. The same as here. I am from Canada. You have also That's Canada, fine. United States. Here we have a different That's one. Fine. I am from Ireland, right? We have Japan and Ireland. But we have other, many other countries, right? What other countries can we mention? El Salvador, Mexico. What else? Fernando, other countries? Uh, I am from El Salvador. Okay, very good. I am from El Salvador. Juan Alberto. Mention another country. Invent, invent the other country. I am from you know, Washington. I am from Washington. Washington. Okay, so from the United States too. Okay, that's good. Justin and Susanna. Give us another I nationality. Am from, I am from Brazil. Brazil, very good. I am from Brazil. Good. Okay, Nani. From Italy. I am from Italy. Oh, that's very <laughs> good. We need to Learn Italian, teach us Italian. That's good. Brian, give us another example. I am from Canada. From Canada. All right. Very good. That's nice. Hey, Aaron. Good night, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Now better? Ya mejor? Yes. Ya, ya mejor. Hasta mejor, hasta, perdón, hasta después vi el mensaje que me decía que estaba, oh, estoy mal de la garganta, no puedo hablar. Y ya le había sí, es, que participar. Esos días he estado súper mal de la gripe, pero he tratado uh, todo lo posible por conectarme yeah. y por hacer las actividades. Ah, oh, that's good, ya. Yeah. Sí, sé que, que todos se han conectado y han estado ahí poniendo su esfuerzo. Ya, yeah, that's very good. Ok, give us an example, please. Okay. Eh, quiero ver. I am from the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom. Very good. That's nice. Let's see. Continue. Sachil. I am from Mexico. I am from Mexico. That is good. Ala said. I am from Spain. I am from Spain. All right. Santa Margarita. I am from Guatemala. 
Guatemala. All right. We are very near. That's good. Okay. Marisol. Marisol Alemán. Marisol. Hello. No, Marisol. Ariel Alexandra. I am from Australia. Australia. Good. Okay. Rebecca. I am from India. India. Oh, that's good. We have from all around the world people here. That's nice. Okay. The international language, English. Nice to meet you, everyone. <laughs> then nice we have here. You. Nice to meet you guys, all of you. It's very good, right, to know people from many countries. Bueno, conocer personas de muchos países, right? You know about different cultures, the food, wow, a lot of things. Now, we have an example here. But first, um, I need to pass the list. Voy a pasar lista ahorita. Let's check here the list. So you tell me, please, if you are present. Okay, let's see. Aaron Alberto. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Adali said. Present. Thank you. Alejandra Margarita. Alejandra, Margarita, no, si alguien está presente, pero tal vez no, no le podemos escuchar por algún problema de conexión, solo me escriben un mensaje, Teacher. yes, teacher, eh, fíjese que yo, yo estoy teniendo problemas de conexión, no Ajá. sé si tal vez los compañeros están teniendo inconvenientes, pero es por lo mismo de lo de la sí. lluvia, de, estamos teniendo inconvenientes porque de hace rato se estoy escuchando como cortada la conversación, sí. entonces sí. Okay. no sé si esto también puede originar algún tipo de inconveniente con sí. la conexión con usted. Solo ahorita, como les mencionaba, eh, si no, no les podemos escuchar, me ponen un mensajito que se está presente, así yo le pongo la asistencia. Ok, para que no se vayan a salir afectados los demás. Ah, exacto, porque igual aquí esto que queda grabado y se ve cuántos minutos usted ha estado conectado. Sí, uh -huh. sí, porque de hecho que a mí, me, a mí no me daba chance de conectarme al principio, me, sí. me sacaba de la, de la sesión, entonces me costó lloviendo. conectarme y sí. me daba, aquí me salía como que no tenía error de conexión, me decía. Exacto. Entonces, okay. por eso le hago la aclaración, porque no, yes. me imagino que a más de alguno le dio problemas también. Exacto. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for informing. Yes, thank you. Ok. Thank you. Ariel Alexandra. Sí, por ahí. Por eso. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Blanca Rosa. Blanca. Por eso. Hello, Blanca, no la había visto. <risa> eh, sí, lo que pasa es que como no hay energía aquí Ajá. y mis datos son pocos, entonces Paola me dijo ah, que no, no okay. conectara el audio ni, el, ni la mm, cámara. Ok. Pero aquí no, estamos. Excelente. Very good, nice, very nice. <risa> Brian, Brian René. Present. Very good, thank you. Douglas. Douglas Heriberto. No. All right. Now let's see. Elmer de Milson. Elmer de Milson. Fernando de Jesús. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Susana. Jocelyn Present. Susana. Thank you. Juan Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Kenya Vanessa. Present me. Thank you. Maria Emilia. Present. Thank you. Marisol Elizabeth. Marisol Elizabeth. 
Nevi Solina. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you. Very good. Rebecca Vanessa. Present. Great. Thank you. Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you very much. Sandra Margarita. Present. Great. Thanks. Sochi Yamilet. Present. Thank you. And Judith Edith. Judith? Judith Edith? All right. Let's continue then. Right on the conversations about where are you from. We have the next exercise to practice it. Uh, point one. And the question is, are you from Seoul? Seoul is a place. Seoul is un lugar where we're going to listen to it. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation. Can you hear it? Se oye? Yes. 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 Perfect. yes. Title, yes. Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Sorry, we're going to listen one more time because it's very short. Uh, listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. This one was very similar because you're talking about the nationalities so the practice that we did now let's have another question let's see if i ask uh, uh, sandra margarita sandra margarita are you from mexico yes i am or no i'm not no i'm not no i'm not very good okay now let's see, Gabriela, you formulate the question to Aaron and the in, in, invent, you can invent another country. Are you from, and mention the country. Are you from United States? Mm -hmm. No, I know. No, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, I'm not. Very good, no, guys. Really good, that's nice. Maria Emilia, you're going to ask Gabriela. Um, are you from um, Germany? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. I'm not, excellent, that's good. Okay, now let's see, Juan Alberto, you ask Jocelyn Susana. Susana, are you from? Argentina. 
Argentina? No, Susana. I don't know. Yeah? Yes? No, the answer? No. Sorry, can you repeat? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Very good, nice. I Nelly, not. very good. Nelly, now you formulate the question to Fernando. But now, Fernando, say yes to practice the affirmative. Yes, uh, Fernando, are you from Korea? Korea? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Excellent. That's good. And Ali said, you formulate the questions to, let me see, to Rebecca. Rebecca, are you Russia? Are Russia? you from Russia? Okay, that's good. Are you from Russia? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Very good job. Nice. Cool. All right. Let's see. That's cool. You're from that country. Brian, now you are so chill. Hello. Are you from uh, Argentina? 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 Ar Argentina. 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 Very good. Nice. Gotcha? <laughs> No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Very good. Can you, Vanessa? You ask Jocelyn to sign. Hi, Jocelyn. Are you from uh, Canada? Oh, good. Are you from Canada? Nice. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. That's good. Fernando de Jesus, you formulate the question to Rafael Aguilar. Are you from Italy? From Italy? Are you from Italy? Are right. you from Italy? Italy? Italy. Very good. Nice. Answer? Rafael? No, no, no. Ah, that's good. Very nice job. That's good. Sandra Margarita, you ask Rebecca Vanessa. Rebecca, are you from Guatemala? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Very good. Marisol Alemán, you ask Ariel Alexandra. Marisol? Marisol, Marisol. No. Okay, Ariela, Alexandra. You are going to ask Blanca Rosa. Hi, I am from El Salvador. Mm -hmm, that's good. Yes. Yes, I am from El Salvador. Very good, that's nice, good. Now, Blanca, you formulate the question to Elmer and Nilsson. Uh, where are you from, uh, Elmer and Nilsson? Uh-huh, to Elmer and Nilsson. Uh, are you from? I am from. Are you from? Are you from? Are you from? Are you from? Uh -huh. If you ask, are you from Peru, for example? Where is the Peru? Okay. Are you are from you Peru? From, um, Canada. Mm, very good. Are you from Canada, Elmer? No, I don't know. No, I'm not. I'm not. Not, I'm not. I'm not. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Now that we practice it, now we have here another example. And in this example, this man, eh, Marisol, have any question? Marisol, levantó la mano. No? Vi que levantó la manita. Okay, then let's continue with our other practice. We have another example. He is Frank. Nice to meet you, Frank. So I introduce you to Frank. Nice to, meet you, Frank. nice to meet nice you, Frank. Nice to meet you, Frank. Nice to meet you too, guys. 
<laughs> we can start here and say, look, he's using a lot of conjugation of the verb to be. He says, I am Frank. I am not happy. I am an architect. My brother is a dentist and my sister is a secretary. My favorite sports are tennis and golf. We're going to write here an S. This missing letter S because this new one My favorite sports are tennis and golf. Then we continue here. I am from London. I am English. So here is saying the country and here the nationality. That is correct. It's like when we say, I am from El Salvador. So I am Salvador. If you say, I am from Mexico, I am Mexican. Now here, I am not single. What is single, remember? Cantante. Cantar. No. No, es That's different. No, no, Perfect, that's no. good. Cantante, look, cantante will write it like this. A, sing a singer. That's single correct. is soltero, or no? Single it means soltero, that's correct. A singer is cantante. Singer is cantante. Uh -huh. That's correct. Uh -huh. A singer. Now, this one is about the civil status, right? If he's married, if he's single. Now, we're going to practice it. Let's see, and it starts with, let's start here. Elmer and Nilton. You are going to read this one. I am Frank. Repeat. Elmer? Can you hear Elmer? No? Okay, Blanca. So you're going to say your name. Say, I am Blanca. I am Blanca. That's good. Kenya Vanessa, continue. I am not happy. Vanessa? Kenya Vanessa? <clears throat> Sandra Margarita? Oh, no, Kenya. Hello. <laughs> Se escucha, Kenya? <clears throat> El, el yes, yes. yes, okay, now it's active. That's good. All right, let's repeat it. I am not happy. Kenya? I am not happy. That's good, very good. Continue, Marisol Aleman. It says, I am an architect. Marisol? Are you there, Marisol? Hello, hello. No. Fernando, repeat please. I am an architect. I am an architect. Very good, that's nice. Really good, Rafael. Now invent another profession or occupation. I am a, can be a doctor, a, can be, for example, a computer programmer. Liar. Aha, uh -huh, lawyer. Um, I am. I am um, a medic. All right, can be a medician or doctor. Medical or doctor, right? Can be a medician or a doctor. Let's see, Ariel Alexandra. Now I'll say this one. My brother is a dentist and my sister is a secretary. My brother is a dentist. 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 And my dentist. Sister, dentist. And my sister. And my sister is a secretary. 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 Thank you. Now let's see who continue here. So chill. Repeat the next one. My favorite sports. My um, my example or that example? You can say your original example, okay. like your case, your information. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite sport is um, play basketball. And basketball. 
Uh -huh. My favorite yes. sport. So how many favorite sports do you have? One, two, three, or only one? One. Only one. Okay, then you say my favorite sport is basketball. Teacher, I yes. have a question. Yes, uh, porque ahí, bueno, desde de, de, el principio tenía la duda de R. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Por qué se ocupa R? O porque lleva la S, sports. Ah, ok. It has the S because it's plural. It's saying here, my favorite sports ah. are. And here you're mentioning two sports. It's tennis sí, sí. and golf. La, golf tapaba la imagen de, bueno. <laughs> de la ah, cámara. Ah, that's why. <laughs> yes, it's two sports. So here Sorry. it's two sports. That's okay. Thank you. Let's see, Brian. Continue here, please. Miss. Yes, tell me. Si en el caso solamente fuera un deporte, dijera is. Exactly. Then you say, my favorite sport is? Runner. Basketball sport. Uh, ah, okay. It can be running. Si en el caso de, de correr, running. running. It can be running, basketball, okay. football, swimming. Brian. Okay. Stay here. I, I am, am from? I am. I am from London. Okay. I am English. English. I am English. 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 That's all right. Good one. Rebecca Vanessa. Say this one according, depending to your civil status, your information. Can you repeat, please? Sure. You are going to give an example here, but with your personal information. Is I am or I am not single? I am single. Excellent. Very good job. Nice. Okay. Now, you see, here we have affirmative sentences with the verb to be. Here, when it says full form, is the complete form. Remember that we mentioned that, right? La forma completa, but also exists the short form that is the contraction. Que es la contracción. So you can say, I am or um, he is or he is. He is. Ambos son correctas. Both are correct, correct. Eh, en el caso de que usted quiera hacer la conversación más fluida, entonces utilizamos una contracción y es perfectamente correcto. Y es más práctico, right? Como les mencionaba, es más práctico. En lugar de decir, I am, you say, I'm. I'm from the United um, States. I'm from Canada. I'm a, a doctor. I'm a receptionist. It's a contraction. So if you say, I am complete, Contraction and he is, he's, he is, it is, it's, you are, it is, your, we are, your. What will be the contraction we're. here? We're. 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 Perfect. That's we correct. Are. Uh -huh. We are in the complete and we're in the contraction. We're. Right, so that will be complete form or no la vocal form. se pierde más que todo, verdad? Exactly, that's perfect. Lo que se pierde nada más la eh, la primera la primera letra prácticamente es, es una vocal. Primera letra antes de formar el verbo to be. So it's like am. El apóstrofe sustituye a la letra, la primera letra. So that's the contraction. And we have some examples. We are going to read them. And start reading them. Miss. Yes, tell me. ¿Por qué no aparece ellos? They. Oh, yes. This is not included here. But no. Esta está incompleta. But it's all right. You need to use they. So you can use here they. Thank you. You use they. So what is the form? They. And what we conjugate? The verb to be? Excellent. Um, That's good. Same here. With the contraction? How will be the contraction? There. 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 That's correct. There. 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 Perfect. That's nice. Now, we have the examples here. And let's read them. Maria Amelia, read the first one, please. I am. I am Sarah and he is Jane. Jake, excellent, that's good. Sandra Guadalupe, continue, please. John? 
John is tired. He is in the bedroom. He's in tired. the bedroom. That's good. What is tired? Tired. Tired. Exhausted. Uh -huh. That's correct. Tired. That's all right. The next one. Continue. Let me, please. He, he's very good. You? Young. Very young. young. What is young? No, sé. Hoving. 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 It's an adjective. Correct. It's muy joven. Este very pone más énfasis en el adjetivo. Ese young es un adjetivo. Está dando una característica del sujeto. En este caso es you. Very young. Bien. She is very young. Uh -huh. She is only one, two. One, two? <laughs> How do you say one, two? Hola. Together. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. 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 El análisis del número de teléfono. Ah, yes, wow. that is true. You remember individual numbers. That's the reason why. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 12, right? Correct. Thank you, Nevi. That's good. Kenia Vanessa, continue. It's. It's two in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's very cold. It's cold. very cold. Cold, cold, cold. Yes, cold. very good. That's nice. Continue then with Adalie said. Adalie said, continue with the next one, please. Your? You're from Italy. You're Ita Italian. 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 That's good. Here you mention the country, and this is the nationality. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue with Gabriela. Gabriela Miguel. The cars are in the garage. Excellent. That's all right. Juan Alberto. Jim. Jim and I are classmates. Classmates. That's very good. Nice. Okay. This is very important to mention. The last example says Jim and I. And look, we're using R. Why we use R and not am? Because it's Jim and I. Is correct to use R or am? Because it's a uh, plural. Excellent. Perfect. That's correct. Look, if we have here Jim and I, what subject pronoun is correct to use? ¿Con qué sujeto pronombre podríamos sustituirlo? Jim and we I. Are. Ajá. We, we are. Excellent. That is correct. Perfect. That's good. Yes. So here is not only I. It's included another person. For that reason is that we are. Great job, guys. You are analyzing. Very good. Nice. Okay. Now, we have another, ex another example here. Let me show you this. No. Part, right? This. Okay. This one. These are other examples of the yes no questions. It's like here. Remember that the verb to be it has three forms, right? In the simple present. We are in the simple present. We have am. The subject is I. Uh. It is what subject we use with is. He, she or he. He, Very he. good. He, she, and? It is. It is. Perfect. And are? What subjects are? He, Where? they, to, they. He, they. Uh-huh. We, right? We, you, and they. Now we have I am. He, I she, am. it, is. You, we, you, we, you, they, they are. Yeah, remember here we have two used, right? One is singular and the other one is plural. All it depends on the situation that you have. Here is the rule, like the format that you have, the structure. In the affirmative case, you have a subject, you have the verb be, and this is a complement. This he is from England. But when you have a question, this is necessary to change the position. So first you have the verb to be, then you have the subject, and this is the complement. And now this part, as it's an interrogative, you need question mark. This is called a question mark. El símbolo de la pregunta, right? 
have the question mark. Questions about that? No questions? Teacher. Yes. Una pregunta, ¿por qué es que aparecían arriba dos veces el you? No le entendí mm. esa parte. Ah, because you, that subject, one, you're going to use it for singular and you for the plural. So, basically, you puede trabajar, si es singular, es tú. Para el plural, trabaja como ustedes. Todo depende nada, de acuerdo a la situación en la que uno esté en la conversación. Si se dirige oh. a una sola persona o se dirige a más de una persona. Pero es el mismo okay. sujeto y la misma conjugación. Todo depende de, de la situación o cuántas personas se encuentran. Perfecto. Any other question? Thank you. You're welcome. No more questions? All right, guys. We are going to continue on next Monday. Remember, we have classes on Monday. Recuerda que todavía tenemos clases el lunes, ¿verdad? Porque la vacación incluye del 1 al 6. Aún no nos han dado como el aviso oficial, pero esto nos han dicho hasta ahorita. Así que, pues, nos hace saber. Pero el lunes nos conectamos. Teacher, perdón la pregunta. Tell me. Este, yo por motivos de, de trabajo no he podido, no he podido complementar las, lo de la plataforma. ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para terminar eso? Para hacer, Fíjese para no, 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 no tener respetado la, la nota. Les, ha, les habían pedido que si lo eh, trataran de hacerlo ahora antes de la clase, pero lo van a estar mañana actualizando. Entonces, se supone que todavía puede, puede hacerlo esta noche. Antes de ah, medianoche. Sí, porque... Ajá. Porque Eso mañana actualiza. Uno y dos, ¿verdad, Miss? Exacto, solo es la sección 1 y 2. Ya la 3, si ustedes gustan, la pueden avanzar con lo que ya vimos. Ok, sí, eso es la duda, porque no uh -huh. sabía. Sí, ahorita todavía puede, antes de medianoche, porque mañana ya actualizan ellos las notas. Ah, ok, uh -huh. perfecto, gracias. Thank you. La teacher yes. una consulta. La Chalo. tres sería con la clase de ahora. Exacto. Traten de hacerla con la que ya vimos ahora. Ah, Para que okay. Por si no han Gracias. visto, digamos, eh, otros temas, ¿verdad? Por si no han visto los demás temas de, por ejemplo, 3.3, para que no se me vayan a confundir. Sí lo pueden ir trabajando, ¿verdad? Pero para que no se me vayan ahí a, a sentir confuso. Traten de llegar hasta donde hemos visto los temas para que sí pueda ser como un refuerzo para ustedes y se les haga un poco más, más fácil. Eh, okay. Una pregunta. Yes, este, eh, ¿Y cómo vamos a saber cuánto llevamos de puntuación? ¿O cómo? El progreso. Ajá, el ahí progreso. Les, ajá, ahí les aparece. Ahí les en aparece la... el progreso de la plataforma. De, después de que ya lo califiquen. Ajá, exacto, ahí les va apareciendo. El progreso de cada quien va apareciendo. Sí, sí, a ver, una, aquí, pues. una duda. Uh -huh. Una duda existencial. <risa> y en un dado caso remoto, primero digo que no sea así, ¿verdad? Que vayamos todos al mismo ritmo. Si algún dado caso, alguien se, imagínese que no pasa un módulo, ¿qué pasaría, mis? Ahí sí tendrían que consultar con ellos a ver cómo van a coordinar, si digamos le van a dejar tareas extra o cómo ellos nos van a indicar a nosotros como maestros cómo, cómo vamos a proceder con eso. Porque ah, muy bien. Existe en emergencia, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, Pero sí, 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 sí. Ajá, exacto. Pero sí lo consultaríamos con ellos. Ah, muy bien. Gracias, Miss. question. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Then, remember, we continue on Monday. And I'm going okay. to send you more links. Voy a enviarles más links. No sé si ya vieron. No sé si ya este, se metieron a, a, a los links que les envié ayer, que tenían más prácticas como, hey, how are you? Nice to yes. meet you. Había uno, ¿verdad? Y el otro era de telephone numbers. Yes. ¿Lo escucharon? Yes. Claro. Yes. yes. Ok. Sí. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Very good yes. job. Ok, así les voy a ir enviando para reforzar esto de acá. Se las haga más fácil a la hora de trabajarlos en la plataforma. 
pero eso solamente es para ejercicio, ¿verdad, mí Porque no hay ningún sí. lugar para subirlo ni nada, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Eso solo es extra. Para Va. que ustedes tengan eso más claro aún y vayan también agudizando el oído. Ya se les va a ser más fácil en la plataforma. Porque si se fijaron en la plataforma, en el caso de los números telefónicos, sí, ¿verdad? Va como más rápido. Entonces hay que como practicarlo más. Pueden ustedes escuchar en, en YouTube también para reforzar videos que aparecen ahí. Y esto les va a ir ayudando también a escucharlo más claro, porque hay bastantes acentos. No hay un solo acento. Entonces eso nos va a reforzar. Los números esta noche me ah. han dejado traumada. <risa> no, pero no se preocupen. Todo es práctica, es, así es al, al inicio, porque, pues como les mencioné, son bastantes acentos, entonces uno necesita escuchar un acento, el otro acento, y así, ah, ok, este es el número, sí, ya lo que dice cuál es, eh, que el cero, también no solo se menciona cero, sino que también puede ser, oh, en cuanto a números Ajá. telefónicos, ¿verdad? En cuanto a números telefónicos. Entonces, todo es práctico. Everything is practice. But you can do it. Thank you because you participate, you're dedicated, son bien participativos, son bien dedicados. Y se puede hacer muy bien. Thank you, una Liz. pregunta, una pregunta. Yes. Este, eh, como nos dijeron que la segunda semana se iban a avisar para la inscripción del del siguiente módulo. Siguiente módulo. Ellos nos van a avisar o usted nos avisaría. Sí. Ellos, ellos nos van a avisar, de hecho. Pero es para el segundo módulo. Uh -huh. Porque ese sería la próxima semana ya es la sección 3. Entonces, Ajá, es que como nos dijeron, dijeron de que, que en, la, ah, en la segunda semana para ir apartando cupo. Ah, ok. Creo que el correo iban a mandar, dijeron ellos. Les iban a mandar a ustedes. Ajá, la notificación del segundo. Que dijo que teníamos que enviar otra vez la, toda la documentación que habíamos enviado. Sí. Ah, ok. Si gustan, pueden consultar también en, en el chat de grupo también. Nos puede ayudar Paola. Y después de la vacación regresamos. Until Monday 7. Ajá. El lunes 7. El lunes. Voy a agarrar tu Wix. <risa> only one week. Pero el lunes todavía nos conectamos, a menos sí. que nos indiquen algo más, ¿verdad? Y durante el fin de semana. Ok. okay. Yes. All right, guys. Any other question? No. No. Peace. Hello. <risa> ¿Alguien más tiene pregunta? Podría sí. colocar la, perdón, la última imagen, Miss, para, para tomarle foto, por favor. La, la que ya no nos explicó. De la diapositiva. Sí, la esta última, la siguiente. Ah, esta. Es. Esta de acá. Yes, sure. You miss. Yes, you're welcome. Yes. 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 Ok. All right, guys, it was a pleasure. Any other question? Tell me, tell me. Sí, teacher. Esas diapositivas no las comparten con nosotros. No, solamente. Fíjense que como les ponen los ¿Sí? videos, de hecho, en la, sí, sí. En la plataforma tienen los videos. Con esta misma información. Ah, no, es lo mismo. Es la clase, de hecho. En la plataforma les aparece como conferencia. Videoconferencias. Una pregunta. Yes, tell me. En todas las clases, tu vida. Hola. Yes, hello, hello, tell me. Sí, una, una pregunta. De, de, de verdad que en YouTube no hay. No hay como videos de parte de Insafor con, 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 con ese mismo tipo de, como de ejercicios o de ejemplos de lo que estamos viendo ahorita para repasarlo. Fíjense que, que yo sepa hasta ahorita solo tienen la plataforma. Tienen la plataforma. Solo, 
solo tenemos que pasar entonces a la plataforma, ahí podemos encontrar el video. Sí, ahí pueden encontrar. No, aquí están los, bueno, aquí están los videos, unos que ya les mostré, que van de acuerdo a cada sesión. Y tienen también el libro, no sé si ya encontraron el libro, que aparece como es Menos. Voy a preguntar del libro también porque yo lo quisiera descargar. Ajá, es este de acá. Vamos a ver si me carga bien ahorita porque hace ratito no me cargaba. Creo que sí. Sí, ya este ese ya lo descargué. Ajá, ah, perfecto. Le dio, le dio chance de descargarlo. Ah, yes, aquí está. Stures Manual. Aparece. Sí. Aquí se puede todo. imprimir, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 yo creo que sí, le dio permiso de, si lo, si les permite descargarlo, lo pueden imprimir y aquí están otros ejercicios. Están okay. las mismas conversaciones, los videos también que están remarcados. Aquí está, I'm Jennifer Miller. Aquí está escrita la conversación. Ahí está más todavía. Porque, ah, pero yo creo que no está completo. No lo he revisado bien, bien, en realidad. Pero la clase que hemos dado ahorita ya está ahí también. Aquí en el libro. Ajá. Aquí están todas las sesiones. Todo lo que se va viendo. La primera que vimos fue It's Nice to Meet You. Eh, terminamos What's This. Y que ya empezamos la sección 3, que es Where Are You From? Que el lunes seguimos con la sección 3. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Sí, yo, eh, fíjese que en mi persona yo entré el día de ahora tarde, no sé si ya pasaron lista. Let me see your complete name, please. Tu nombre completo. Your complete name, your full name. Elmer. Elmer. Elmer, let me check. Elmer L. Nilsson. Sí. Ah, yes. Ajá. Ok. Ya está colocado. Thanks. Thank you. All right, guys, then, happy weekend. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you, teacher. Tengan cuidado en la feria. Yes, be careful. All right, again. Okay, that's good. Then see you on Monday, right? Para, que, para los que nos toca trabajar, diviértanse. Ah, yes, it's true. We have to work. <laughs> have a very nice weekend, guys. Thank you, Miss. Have a nice Bye. 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 Blessings. Bye. Blessings. Thank you so much. I'll see you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Miss. Bye. 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 Bye, thank you. Thank you so much.